Saint Padre Pio is believed to have made numerous predictions during his life. Some of these forecasts have been written down, while others have been shared verbally. Yet none of these could match the chilling anticipation evoked by one of his most alarming prophecies, the prophecy concerning the three days of darkness. According to the lore surrounding him, this prediction has captured the imaginations of many, instilling a sense of foreboding in those who have heard it. The prophecy of the three days of darkness is shrouded in mystery and fear. According to this prophecy attributed to Saint Padre Pio, there will come a time when the world will be engulfed in darkness for three consecutive days. During this period it is said that no light source, except blessed candles, will illuminate the surroundings, and venturing outside will result in certain death. Additionally, the air will become thick and toxic, making it impossible to breathe without suffocation. This prophecy has terrified many because of its apocalyptic implications, signaling a cataclysmic event that could bring about the end of the world as we know it. The prospect of three days of utter darkness and chaos is deeply unsettling for several reasons. Firstly, the inability to see in the darkness can induce feelings of helplessness and vulnerability, heightening fear and anxiety among individuals. Secondly, the notion of being confined indoors for an extended period without access to essential resources such as food, water, and electricity is daunting and raises concerns about survival. Moreover, the idea of a toxic atmosphere outside further exacerbates the sense of dread, as it poses a threat to life itself. The prophecy of the three days of darkness has captured the imagination of believers and skeptics alike, prompting discussions and debates about its validity and implications. While some view it as a symbolic warning about spiritual darkness and moral decay, others interpret it as a literal prediction of a catastrophic event. Regardless of one's interpretation, the prophecy serves as a reminder of the fragility of human existence and the unpredictability of the future. Padre Pio, originally named Francesco Forgiani, hailed from a humble family of farmers. His early life showed a deep interest in religious matters, leading him to join the Capuchin Order at the tender age of 15. After years of dedication and study, he was ordained as a priest in 1910. His journey eventually led him to the town of San Giovanni Rotondo in 1918, where he would become known for an extraordinary and perplexing occurrence. Padre Pio began to experience the stigmata, a phenomenon that continues to defy rational explanation. The stigmata manifested as the five wounds of Christ, appearing on his hands, feet, and side. These wounds mirrored those inflicted upon Jesus during his crucifixion and were accompanied by excruciating pain. Such occurrences are rare and have been reported in the lives of other saints and mystics throughout history. The stigmata phenomenon, while deeply mysterious, is often regarded as a testament to the profound holiness and spirituality of those who experience it. Despite extensive scientific inquiry, no satisfactory explanation has been provided for this inexplicable manifestation leaving it to be interpreted as a divine and miraculous occurrence. Padre Pio's stigmata continues to captivate the imagination of believers and non-believers alike, standing as a testament to the enduring mysteries of faith and spirituality. Padre Pio's stigmata presented a series of baffling characteristics they bled intermittently yet remained uninfected, emitted the scent of roses, and healed spontaneously only to reappear later. While not everyone could witness these wounds, the church authenticated their existence, adding to their mystique. As word of these miraculous occurrences spread, Padre Pio became a magnet for pilgrims from around the globe, drawn by the hope and devotion inspired by his experiences. However, what truly set Padre Pio apart was his ominous warning about the impending three days of darkness. This prophecy delivered with an urgency that resonated deeply with his followers, has sparked contemplation and concern about the significance of his revelations. It raises questions about the readiness of humanity to face potential tribulations and the importance of spiritual preparedness for uncertain times. The authenticity and significance of Padre Pio's revelations are subjects of fervent debate and contemplation. While some view them as symbolic reflections of spiritual truths, others interpret them as literal predictions of future events. Regardless of one's interpretation, the gravity of these prophecies cannot be overlooked prompting individuals to ponder their implications and take heed of their potential warnings. Padre Pio's personal letter to the Vatican-appointed Commission of Heralds further underscores the gravity of his revelations. In this correspondence, he affirms the truth and reality of the insights he claims to have received from a divine source. 
His testimony not only sheds light on his spiritual journey, but also serves as a testament to the profound impact of his experiences on his faith and worldview. In his letter, Padre Pio conveyed a powerful message urging prayer, reparation and vigilance in anticipation of imminent divine judgment. He spoke of a deep longing to reveal the profound love within his heart and emphasized the importance of prayer and repentance. Padre Pio admonished others to join him in these acts of devotion, warning that the time for divine visitation upon the unfaithful was drawing near. The urgency of his plea was evident as he stressed the need for constant preparedness, emphasizing that divine judgment would come suddenly and unexpectedly, sparing no one. However, amidst the foreboding tone, Padre Pio offered a glimmer of hope, assuring that the just would be protected. He instructed believers to observe signs in the heavens, such as disturbances in the sun, moon, and stars, as indicators of the approaching day of reckoning. Padre Pio urged unity in prayer and watchfulness, urging individuals to remain steadfast until the threat had passed. In his closing words, Padre Pio reiterated the importance of prayer, reparation, fervency, and mortification emphasizing their role in seeking divine intervention and shortening the duration of the impending tribulation. Through his letter, Padre Pio sought to instill a sense of urgency and responsibility among his followers, urging them to heed his warnings and take proactive measures to safeguard their souls. Padre Pio's words echo with urgency and solemnity as he warns of the impending peril facing humanity. He paints a vivid picture of a world careening towards destruction with people obliviously celebrating their descent into darkness. In the face of this impending doom, Padre Pio implores for assistance in the salvation of souls, recognizing the critical importance of collective effort in combating spiritual decay. He speaks of a world steeped in sin, where the measure of wrongdoing has reached its limit and divine retribution looms ominously close. The complacency and false sense of security that pervade society only serve to exacerbate the impending catastrophe. Padre Pio compares the impending judgment to a thunderbolt, striking with swift and merciless force. The severity of the impending judgment is underscored by Padre Pio's reference to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, suggesting that the wickedness of contemporary society surpasses even that of these infamous cities. Urging believers to take refuge indoors, he advises them to shield themselves from the impending calamity, emphasizing the importance of spiritual practices such as prayer, reading, and acts of love. Padre Pio's instructions are clear, prepare diligently, seek solace in prayer and spiritual communion, and strive to save as many souls as possible. His admonition to pray with outstretched arms or prostrate on the ground reflects the gravity of the situation and the urgency of the call to action. As he warns of the upheaval of nature and the reign of fire that will ensue, Padre Pio's message serves as both a dire warning and a beacon of hope, urging believers to heed his counsel and seek refuge in faith and righteousness. Padre Pio's message continues with reassurance and guidance amidst the impending turmoil. He encourages believers to find courage and strength, reminding them of his presence amidst the chaos. In a gesture of care and compassion, he emphasizes the importance of looking after animals, assuring that as the creator and preserver of all living beings, he will provide signs to guide their caretakers. Padre Pio promises to safeguard the property of the Chosen Ones, including animals, ensuring they have sustenance during and after the cataclysmic events. He warns against venturing outside, emphasizing the danger awaiting those who defy this instruction. Encouraging believers to shield themselves from the impending wrath, he advises them to cover their windows diligently, offering protection to his faithful followers. With unwavering confidence in divine providence, Padre Pio assures believers of his protection amidst the impending storms of fire, thunderbolts, and earthquakes. He describes the overwhelming display of God's power as a testament to his mastery over creation, reinforcing the message of trust and reliance on his guidance and protection. In the face of impending disaster, Padre Pio's words serve as a beacon of hope, offering solace and guidance to those who heed his warnings. Through his message, believers are urged to place their faith in divine providence and find refuge in the assurance of God's unfailing protection. Padre Pio's message continues with words of reassurance and guidance for those who place their trust in him and his teachings. He offers solace to believers, assuring them that those who hold hope in him and believe in his words need not fear, as he will never abandon them 
or those who spread his message. Padre Pio emphasizes the importance of being in a state of grace and seeking the protection of the Blessed Mother Mary. He provides specific signs and instructions to prepare for the impending visitations, including the chilling cold of the night and the roaring wind, followed by the ominous sound of thunderbolts. Believers are urged to take immediate action by locking all doors and windows, refraining from engaging with anyone outside the house. Instead, they are encouraged to kneel before a crucifix, repent for their sins, and seek the protection of the Virgin Mary.